Hey, it's Greg Lynn of Sotheby's International Realty, and welcome to our third quarter market update in San Francisco. As everyone is aware, these are really trying times in the world of real estate. It's been 18 months since interest rates increased nationally from three and a half to about seven and a quarter percent, making affordability for homes very, very tough all across the country, and San Francisco is no exception to this rule. So what this means is that if you currently have a home with a mortgage of three and a half to 4%, and you want a bigger home, and you've been out looking, and suddenly the cost of financing has gone from 3.5% to 7%, you're now priced out of getting a larger home. So you're just sitting at home, waiting for interest rates to fall. So we were all told that interest rates would go up for about a year, and then come down. Well, 18 months later, interest rates are not coming down. So everybody's kind of stuck all across the country. Trading of houses and condos is down across country about 50% of volume. And San Francisco is no exception to that rule. And of course, San Francisco has its own unique PR challenges chronicled in the national media. Uh, some of those are real, some of them are not real, but we're having a challenging time on the ground here. So this famous standoff in San Francisco has been going on for about 12 months. Our market really slowed down in the fall of 2022. One year later, um, as we came to the fall with all of our new listings, we advised our sellers, get ready for a tough market. Many of our listings have been on the market for 100, 200, 300 days. September was a tough month. We're, you know, um, waiting for, you know, showings and buyers uh, to exist. But interestingly, in October, just two weeks ago, we're seeing a little bit of metamorphosis, a little bit of change. Showings are up substantially in our listings and in other realtors' listings uh, across the city. There's more due diligence being done. And actually, we're representing buyers that are making really good offers on properties. Only their opinions of value are based upon a couple of years ago. In some neighborhoods, values have gone back three, five, and seven years in value. And buyers are out making those offers. Some sellers, realistic about the market, are accepting those offers. And some are going to wait you know, for, for other days. But our team is working hard in the middle of all of that. And we noticed the last two weeks is a very different market. There were some bright spots uh, in the third quarter for us. Um, for example, a listing that we had on the market for 24 months and two days, 24 months and two days, uh, it was a 5,300 square foot penthouse on top of the Pacific in Pacific Heights, went into contract and sold to a really great family for 17 million five. It represented the highest sale, uh, highest condominium sale of the year. And we were thrilled to represent that, but boy, that took a long time and everybody was happy. Our other great achievement is we completed a 125 day negotiation between one of our clients and international family buying and um, a local family that we've worked with for many years selling a $4 million condo. 125 day negotiation. Gave me an opportunity to brush up on my Spanish skills, but it did close and everybody is thrilled. And that was a great sale for downtown. But also of note, during the first eight months of this year, only four single family homes priced over $10 million sold. Well, that same amount has actually sold in the last six weeks. We're up to eight, and again, 50% of that number has sold in the last six weeks. So there's a definite change in the momentum of the market right now. Looking forward, uh, and what's going to happen through the end of the year? Well, we don't know. There are so many variables, but we do know that interest rates are not decreasing, but we see, um, because we have evidence, that buyers are actually getting out there and making the offers that they want to make. Our job is to manage the expectations uh, of our sellers and to continue to influence buyers to move forward and buy the properties that they've always wanted to buy. Our team is ready. Every transaction for us is very important. Um, everyone is difficult and has its unique challenges, but we have the goal of helping our clients achieve everything they want to achieve during this market.